Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today is a beer tasting review and this one is from Lord's Brewing. And this is a Verbanden Car Porter. So it's coming in a 440ml can. It's got really fancy artwork again on the can there, see it? It's got a car. Nice artwork. Got the Lord's logo there. It's got a bit of description here, which I'll read out after I've uh, had a taste. So yeah, so it's a porter, 4.8% volume, um, rich and satisfying, malty, deeply roasted. So let's get this into a into a glass and uh, have a taste. So there we go pouring really well isn't it? Nice colour. Well it doesn't look like it's going to be a thin beer, it looks like it's going to have plenty of body on it. There you go, in the glass. That looks like a cracking pour. I can just see the, the red tinge at the bottom there, which is uh, fantastic. I like to see, in, in my porters, uh, I do like to see the tinge and um, stouts I like to see really, like, really dark at the bottom there. But for porters, it's good to see that red tinge. I know some stouts have that red tinge, but porter for me should should show that lovely tan coloured cap, which is uh, looking like it's sticking around, isn't it? That looks fantastic in the glass. I don't know. We turn the light off, see if it looks any better. There we go. Okay, apologies for the next door dog. So the aroma, it's, it's, it's definitely got a uh, dark fruit aroma. Dark fruits is quite dominant in the aroma. It's also got a sweetness there, which is nice. Very slight roasty in the aroma. I think the, uh, the dark fruit is quite dominant, which is nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting roastiness and I'm getting dark fruit in the aroma. Let's have a, a taste. Okay, so it's got a nice bitterness there. Um, that fruit, that dark fruit, is coming through on the palate as well, which is really nice. The flavour is long lasting, it's coating the tongue. Yes, the aroma and the flavour for me seem to, to match. I'm getting chocolate, like a, a rich dark chocolate. Um, I'm, I'm, I think I'm, I'd say slightly, a slightly bitter coffee there as well. But a rich dark chocolate, slight bitter coffee, that lovely fruit, uh, dark fruits, plums, cherry type aroma and flavour to me is most forward and it and it's lovely it really is nice mouthfeel superb it's not thin it's not thick it's really good medium it makes you want to go back to, back for more the carbonation <coughs> is for me perfect that's how I see my porters and stouts that carbonation bit of lacing around the glass but that smooth carbonation. Hate, hate, hate fizzy dark beers. When you go back again, there's a bit of sweetness there. And it, it feels like that, that sweet fruit. Yeah, there's a sweetness there. It's a really, it's a crack, it's complex. It's really complex. I've had um, I've had a couple of V-Lords now, and I think I reviewed 
2. Um, if I'm right, I think it's a Silver Spur and it was the West Coast Pale. And uh, I give them both, um, for me, for my rating, uh, 4 out of 4 because they were great beers, perfect. Um, feels like I'm really banging on about loads at the moment because, again, 4.8%. Feels a little bit more boozier than that, which you can't complain. It's rich, it's roasty, but it's not over roasty, it's not stout. It's fruity, it's dark fruit, it's got chocolate, it's got a tiny, tiny bit of coffee bitterness, and it's also got a bit of a sweetness there. It's really complex. The more you go through it, the more flavours are coming out of it. There's only, I mean, yeah, I, I seem to be on this. This brewery are doing everything right for me. Um, Loads of brewing, fantastic. Um, I can't rate that any lower than a, a four out of four all day long. Um, I'm sure I'm going to come across one of the beers and I'm going to go, no, it's not quite as good as the, the previous ones. But so far, I can't knock them. I really can't. You really do need to get onto these guys. They're brewing some fantastic beers and some trad beers as well. Um, so, yeah, for me, Lord's Brewing, Band Porter, four out of four. I've not read the can. So let's do that. I've forgotten all about it. It's because I was getting blown away by the beer again. You can see it just looks great in that glass. So excuse you. So yeah, there it is in the glass. Let's have a little read of the story. <clears throat> the Bandon Car is a folk song penned by an Irish... Is, it, is that Balladeer? Kevin Beale? Which... Which ca cautions pub goers in West Cork to be so sorry in West Cork to be aware of a seemingly ominous Garda car patrolling the area in search of drink drivers. This well balanced porter is rich and satisfying with a roasted edge and a sweet lingering aftertaste. Our tribute to County Cork. It's definitely got that sweet and that to me I'm getting like the it's like a sweet dark fruit. It's it's lovely, it really is. So that's the, the can again. Bandon car. 440ml can, 4.8% porter, if you like a porter, go and buy one, absolutely superb. Okay, that's me done, thanks for watching, cheers, I'll see you on the next one, bye.